Good morning to you. Welcome to Wednesday. Thank you very much. All righty. So, new release. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Doug and Fran. Um, many of you will have some of their soaps. Um, and especially this is a new, the, their latest, I should say, uh, formula. CK6. Beautiful. Always lathers up. Any soap lathers up. Lovely. The Watcher. Now then. This, uh, as you know, is Halloween yesterday, and um, or last night, and the reason this is released, this, um, it's nothing to do with Halloween, <laughs> although it could be, couldn't it? It's uh, Doctor Who, the Watcher, and apparently this character, I'm not a big Doctor Who fan, my friend, if he was here, he could tell you everything about Doctor Who, massive fan. It's actually filmed in Wales um, now, anyway, and in a town called Llangollen, the town of music, uh, there used to be a Doctor Who museum which had the TARDIS, the Mu um, Daleks, Cybermen, uh, say K9, and all, all just loads of stuff. Uh, it's not there now, sadly. Anyway, this character, what I believe is a I think it was used a one-off in one of the episodes where between the Doctor changing or regenerating from one Doctor to the other, this is what he looked like in between, if you like. I'm not a big, um, as I say, big thing on Doctor Who, but that's so I believe. Um, around Is it around the Tom Baker time? But I have got some notes here. So what's the reason of this and what's the link between Doctor Who and this the homage to Yardley Black Label. Simple thing is, Doctor Who is on its 60th anniversary, as is the Yardley's Black Label release. Um, now this here, uh, there's some notes here. Uh, yeah, Yardley, it, it was first released, first launched in 1967, and it was re-released, I think, late 80s and into the 90s. I've never tried either the new release, the old release. So I can't compare this like I could to the original Old Spice or something like that. Because I've never tried it. So it was a new scent for me. And judging, I've, God, it looks a lot there, doesn't it? And when you put a little bit... I, one thing I will say, it's got a very classic scent. And the only Yardley I've used is Yardley Gold. And there's a there's something in this scent which gives me a hint from Yardley Gold as well. So Yardley must have a a base that's similar they use and just put different scents in it. That is lovely. It's a really classic scent. Um, this is what it looks like inside. And as I say, I've just taken a bit off the top there. So that's that. Razor. I'm going to use the Phantom Blue double. Slant double open comb razor. That's another PAA. And I thought I'd throw it all in and I'll show you what brush we're going to use. <laughs> this is the Persona Red. This is its third use for this blade. So how are you doing? How's your week been so far? No, we're halfway through. Well, we're at the start of uh, Start of the um, midweek. People call this a hump day. What's that? I've never... Hump day, Wednesday, hump day. Anyway, never mind that. This is the um, Phoenix Artisan. This is the Phantom Aerolite 26mm synthetic grey. Lovely colour and black. Um, nice handle, isn't it? A bit of a blue theme going on here. And um, I think we're ready to, ready to roll. So... Yeah, so the original, have you tried the original Yardley, I keep on saying Carling Black Label, we used to have Carling Lager, well we still got it but it's called Carling now, not Carling Black Label, I think it was a better drink then, isn't it? and um, yeah, the Yardley Black Label, now I've got the Yardley Gold and as I say I like that, very very classic. Wow, you can certainly smell this. So it's a good strong scent. Yeah. 
but I'm amazed how they've got uh, how can I say that scent that tells me it's Yardley it's amazing that it takes it it's like yesteryear well done Doug and Fran really nice wow this is a really easy I'm using the fine uh, accoutrements bowl because uh, it's a bigger bigger bowl for this sort of thing. This brush is quite a 26 millimeter, quite a big knot, isn't it? Yeah, so that's what it was. Yardley Black Label was originally launched 1967, then they stopped it, then they relaunched it in the 90, late 80s and then into the 90s, I think. Whether they've changed it slightly, most likely in those sort of um, relaunches, would have had some difference as I expect. That is, that is amazing. Do you need a bit more water? Because uh, look at that. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> All right. So that's that. Yeah. So thank you, because uh, um, Doug and, and Fran obviously sent the soap. And have to shave for me to try it and I think it's been launched on the 3rd of November somewhere around there so I'll put a link if I can find the if it's already listed I'll put it in the description otherwise I'll put the website so you can see the brushes the soaps and um, you can see when it's going to be released and rinse the face now old Tom Baker Doctor Who Big eyes. Would you care for a jelly baby? <laughs> uh, good days. Huh? So here we go. Oh, and um, Goatee is going to be staying on um, for November because I had a, I wasn't going to do it. And I had a word with Mrs H. I said, what do you think about this Goatee? Shall I do it? Or? She said, we'll do it. She said, uh, it does suit you. So, okay. She who must be obeyed. Very, very thick. I've made this. We will wet it up as we go. Wet it up. So, uh, yeah, as I say, I can't compare it to the original or any of the re releases because I've never tried it. Um, but something my father never used. Uh, or my grandfather, to be fair. But I remember my grandmother using Yardley talc and things like that. So we'll heat up the Phantom Blue. And we're using the Persona Red. Um, third use. There we go. So initial feeling of the soap on the face. No irritation as normal. Never do get it from PAA. Good quality. And the scent as I said, it's quite strong. What would you give it out to 10? Four and a half. Around the four and a half, yeah, it's quite strong. Here we go, first pass. And I am, uh, as we speak, slick, wow. As, as I speak, I am um, charging up my um, trimmer, hair trimmer, because I am definitely going to have a haircut today. You can see it's all messy, isn't it? Scruffy. Oh, I nearly forgot about this goatee then. Very slick. It's a nice, all I can say, it's a nice, it's a nice sort of um, classic scent. And it has the, the bottom note to this is musk, woody and sandalwood, which I like. Uh, in the middle we've got vanilla, patchouli and a powdery scent. Clary, or clary, however you say it, clary, sage and spice all mixed in. So, um, 
if this is close to the original, I've missed out because it's a nice scent. I like classic scents. And I gotta say, if you blindfolded me and opened this puck and I smelt that, I would say that was a vintage or an original sort of scent. Clever. But they are quite good at doing homage to original scents. Um, and usually if you see uh, PAA do a homage, it's to the original scent, not the latest, it's original when they first come out. And uh, that's what this is. But as I say, I can't compare because I've never used it. But if you like classic scents, you like it. Or if you're a Doctor Who fan, <laughs> so part of your shaving collection, maybe. But that's what the connection is between the watcher, the soap, and Doctor Who. It's that they're both celebrating 60 years of anniversary. 60 years of Doctor Who, wow. Very, very slick, as I knew it would be. So we'll add a touch of water to this. It's a fairly big knot. I think these um, 26, 28, 30 millimeter knots are very good for ladies, um, for leg shaving, you know, because it covers a wide area quickly, doesn't it? I should think. Again, something I've never tried and I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to shave my legs. And I've just realised I've shaved the goatee off. Talk, 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 talk. Never mind, we'll have to start it from Sunday. Better late than never. Sorry, Mrs. Eight. <laughs> Cross the crowth. That's the first time I've ever done that. But I will do it for the remainder from, I'll do it from Sunday. The goatee really is, uh, it's a bit of fun to grow, but it, the, the, the real reason behind it is uh, to bring awareness to people of why you're growing it. So people in the street would say to you, if you've never grown one, you start growing this, oh, you're growing a goatee, why is that? Or a moustache. And you say, well, I'm doing it in, um, you know, for the cancer charity or um, the prostate and for men's health, cancer and awareness. And uh, you might be donating money to um, the, the charity as I do, and many others do. So uh, it all helps. And as we all know, someone, don't we, from suffered from that dreadful disease in some way, shape or form. Yeah, lovely razor. Very, very light, head heavy again, because it's, it's only the head that's got the metal in it. You can see the hollow handle, um, lovely colour, fun. Um, fantastic blade. Third use as well. Right, come on, Paul, some jibber jabbering. Yeah, nice scent. 
still a four, four and a half in strength, scent strength for me out of ten. You might find it higher, you might find it lower, depends on um, Did any of you shout then when I shaved up? What are you doing? Shaved the goatee. You wait till I see her now, she'll go, I've shaved it. I'll go like that. <sighs> For God. <laughs> I get turned off now. What an idiot you are, Paul, sometimes. Against the growth. Mind you, it is nice to shave, I must admit. I'll tell you a scent I don't get. It says this has got vanilla in it. Vanilla. Yeah, I don't get the vanilla. Maybe the other scents overpower it, you see, for me. But you may have a palate a nose which can differentiate each ingredient maybe chefs are good at that well certain chefs Yeah, I'm doing Movember. Oh, are you? Yeah. Proceeds to shave goatee off. Good, good travel razor this would make. Very light. Yeah, are you having a shave today? Or did you have a Halloween shave last night? Hallow's Eve. I went to one house, was it? Oh yeah, yesterday, and um, God, they've spent a fortune on it, Halloween, because I counted about 20 pumpkins in the garden, each one carved, ready with a candle or some light for the evening. They would have looked spectacular, but I bet, and wow, oh, that is lovely and slick. Three to one, pickup time, baby. Doctor Who pickup time. Some people, um, I remember, as I said, my grandmother had Yardley and soap and talc, I think it was, like a set. And she used to use it on special occasions type of thing. Because they, she used to go to the, uh, the Tower Ballroom in Blackpool with the World Litter Organ, Reginald Dixon. She used to go dancing twice a year there. That was her special time there. She used to work for a company called uh, Green Oll and Whitley. Beer people. And um, for many years, and when she retired, they used to arrange trips, Christmas and in the summer two trips a year to Blackpool usually Tower Ballroom and then 
another time, like in the summer, I think it was, she'd go and see, and it'd be a show, Joe Longthorn, something like that. He was a singer and an impressionist. And very good as well. Just a touch. Really going to the family history, are I? Sorry. Perfect. Cold water rinse. Can we say beautiful matching aftershave no no we'll use the witch hazel first eucalyptus let's get some used I can't believe this what a numpty got some catching up to do now Yeah, can't believe it can eat. <laughs> right, now we're going to use, hang on, come to the safety. Uh, there you go. Yeah, matching them. Oh, incidentally, I'm not getting any menthol in that soap. Because uh, they do put a... Um, a bit of menthol in some soaps, but I'm not getting nothing in that one. Oh yes, yeah, so, so it's a matching scent, isn't it? It's beautiful. Quite, that's quite strong as well. I'll give that a five. That'll calm down in a minute, as in scent strength. Very nice. I'm sorry now, judging by this, as I say, I can't give you a comparison because I've never used it, the original. Uh, so this is new for me, and if the original scent was like this, um, I've missed out, really. Because uh, as I say, I wasn't a big... Yardley was for women, for me, in my head. As I say, because my grandmother used it. Never seen any male members of my family use it. But the Yardley Gold I've got there, the aftershave, beautiful. Lovely, really nice. So, And this is nice. It re This has a... How can I put it? That Yardley name in it somehow. I could tell it was Yardley, but the scent obviously is different to the gold black label. Really nice classic scent if you like that sort of thing. Look. Overdone it on the pickups, baby. <laughs> um, but I'd rather overdo it than underdo it. And we're going to finish off with some of this Nivea. This has got the hemp, ultra calming, sensitive pro with the hemp seed oil. That's right. Yeah. So there you go. Very smooth. So the next job today, so I've shaved the face, shaved the face, uh, and this is going to be shaved. Well, not shaved. Goodness gracious, no. Just uh, trimmed. Should we say? That's lovely. So, there you go. New release. Very lucky to be trying these different things. Um, so we've used PAA, the Watcher. As I say, a homage to Yardley Black Label original in the 60s. And also celebrating the 60 years, well, of Yardley, Black Label, and 60 years of Doctor Who. Fantastic. Two in one. Really nice. Good slickness. Easy to lather. Um, no dissipation, as you know. CK6, lovely formula. I've overdone it on the neck, again. And a very classic scent. We've used the Aerolite, the blue uh, brush, with that lovely grey and black-tipped synthetic 26mm the Aerolite Blue, the Phantom Blue 
double slant and double uh, open comb razor very very light good razor works well persona red third use uh, rinse with water we've used some eucalyptus witch hazel which i made myself with some essential oil the matching the watcher aftershave and um, aftershave cologne and then the nivea sensitive pro ultra calming facial balm and that's it i'll leave you in peace thank you um, as i say to doug and fran for letting me try that i'll put links in the description if you want to see any of their see this if it's for sale yet but it'll be on the th maybe the third maybe uh, i think that's when he was hoping to put it out and uh, there are other soaps because they do homage on the um, cold spices on the old spice and things like that so have a great rest of the week and look after yourselves if you haven't a shave don't do what i do and shave your goatee off when you're trying to do in november and <laughs> and uh, yeah I'll see you on sunday if i remember See you Sunday for the shave then. So all the best. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye. What a fool. <laughs>